I'm Antonio Garcia from Martial Arts Odyssey. Today we are in. Where are we? Chapel Martial Arts Center. We are in Chapel Martial Arts Center. We're in the studio. Martial Arts Studio. We're just outside of Kuala Lumpur. And for you Americans, Kuala Lumpur, that's in Malaysia. And that's a country in South East Asia. That's where we're at. Today we're learning about Muay Thai. 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 Today we're learning about Oh, today we do kickboxing, we do basic punches and kicks, and our basic drill for uh, attacks and defense. Oh. I like your drills a lot. Thanks. You drills a lot because you're learning combinations, and you gotta learn the combinations, and you gotta learn when you're not afraid of getting hit. Practice. Yeah. Practice thousand times. Yeah. 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 And how many nights a week do you guys train? Yeah, we do five nights a week. Five nights a week. Yeah. Let's make this a commercial for Jack Ottman kickboxing. Yeah. How much is it for one month? 120. I think it's Not $120. It's 120 ringgits. It's just like so $30. Thirty dollars. <laughs> we have two studios. We have at the other studio. We have on Saturday, six days a week. Six nights a week. Okay, so you can train five or six days. Train at both studios for eleven days a week. Yeah. Yeah. Sessions over there. All right. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. We've been getting some good cardio. Definitely a lot more cardio, some stretching. I haven't stretched in 27 years. I haven't done cardio in 37 years. This is Warren. Warren, how old are you? 17! Wow. How long have you been doing Muay Thai? Uh, for more than one year. More than one year. Your combination is very good, by the way. It's completely different than what I'm used to in Thailand. So. No, I'm thinking of actually going up to Thailand and training myself. Okay, you come. You come. You come. I'm dead serious. Do you, are you training? Do you want to fight? Fight, yeah. You want to fight, yeah. Uh, so you got a message for teenagers yeah. around the world? You can get anything you want and set your mind to it. Don't give up. Yeah. What about staying in school? Should you stay in school? Only yeah, for the future in school, whether you are staying in school or not. <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> Hey, are you? Do you speak Chinese? Are you Chinese? Yeah. Do yeah. so you speak Chinese? Yeah. I speak Chinese. I speak Chinese. Malay? English? Uh, I understand Cantonese. Just the other dialect. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, I know how to curse in Tamil. And you can curse in Tamil, which is a very useful skill, I guess. So, anyway, you kids in America, you're lazy. Get up your butts. Go learn some languages. Go learn some white side. I really enjoyed training at Crew Jack's gym. Now, what I liked about it was that you come out there and there's an organized exercise class. There's stretching, there's sit-ups, there's, there's all different kinds of exercise, which honestly, most Muay Thai fighters don't do in Thailand. A lot of Western fighters uh, have whole exercise routines and weightlifting and things that they do along with their, their training, but in Thailand, it's not that common. These drills are really good. Learning different techniques, learning with different teachers, different combinations, but it's really hard for me. I don't know what I'm doing. It feels very awkward. <laughs> and uh, you guys got a message you want to say to people in America? Uh, well, come down to Malaysia, please come to Jack of Fun for a trial, and then we'll tell you what Jack of Fun is about. Alright, what do you say? Uh, have fun, yeah. Train on, have fun. What about alcohol? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, cut down. <laughs> cut down. <laughs> cut it out completely. Yeah, smoking? Yeah. Smoking? No, smoke, yeah. no smoking. We don't smoke here. What else? Uh, uh, oh, I know. Late night, late night, singing, karaoke. Cut down. Cut, down. cut, down. cut, cut down. it out. Cut it out completely. <laughs> It was good for me to get on the floor and stretch and do sit-ups and I could see where uh, doing this a couple of times a week would help and the exercise routine was about an hour and a half. After that we did pair work on pads. They used one big kick pad and I think part of the reason for that is it's just easier to teach someone to hold one big kick pad than it is teaching them to hold two pads. We uh, practiced uh, pads, kicking and punching. 
at various cardio type things to do on there, like like 20 kicks in a row or, or 16 combinations in a row. After that, and I went with a couple of Chinese guys who were helping me do combinations, and they apparently have a whole series of combinations with numbers on them, which is also really important. The best trainers in the world, for example, Customato, always trained his fighters with numbered combinations, and the combinations would keep growing and growing until he gets to number 38, number 37, number 25, and he can just call out the numbers and the fighter knows what to do. And it's sort of what was going on here, and I really liked their combinations. They did a good job. The thing I liked about this whole program, though, was that this was really a fitness program, fitness and strength. But meanwhile, you're learning uh, a little bit about Muay Thai, a little bit about fighting. But that's all most people need. I mean, most people are not going to be fighting professionally. They don't need a hardcore Muay Thai program. And in this class, I saw women, I saw old people, I saw young people, all different kinds of people. They don't all need to come to Thailand and train and fight. The one thing I can't say enough times is that I appreciated the fact that this program included teaching, actually teaching step by step how to stand, how to punch, how to kick, and how to fight. This is something you don't learn in Thailand. We practice, but it's not the best place necessarily to start from scratch and learn. After class was over, then those who wanted to spar could spar and they actually have a, a ring there in the gym. So I got in the ring with the instructor. Now he's a lot smaller than I am so I'm, I'm going very easy on him and he's going easy on me I'm trying to trying to help each other rather than trying to compete with each other. But uh, obviously there's a big, big size difference which uh, is kind of unfair. But uh, he had really, really amazing fitness uh, during the cardio and teaching part of the class. And then in the sparring, I think he got a bit tired. And, and it's just that there's a significant difference when you move from one sport to another sport. For example, uh, a marathon runner is obviously in phenomenal cardio shape, but if you put him in a boxing ring, he's going to get tired because it's a different sport. So something we want to remember if we're practicing cardio type kickboxing, or fitness type kickboxing, it's different than, than actual Muay Thai, and vice versa. I was sore for days after this because of the exercise routine, because I never exercise. Fish lives in the water and a bird lives in the air. They're both fit, both good at what they do, but when we cross over, then, uh, then we're going to get tired. Okay, we did some sparring, and these guys were just super nice, super great people. The whole routine with sparring and everything was about two hours, which is a really good program for normal people. Two hours of exercise is a lot. Not fair, I'm much bigger. Much bigger. Sorry, just agile. He is agile. I need some better shape. Maybe younger. <laughs> but not fair. <laughs> this guy's hard, man. Guy's good. Very good. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. <laughs> thank you so much. I got Antonio Grisepo, the spin martial arts out. He's seen Kuala Lumpur. We're at Jack Hartland's kickboxing gym. We're learning Muay Thai, Malaysian style, which I've really enjoyed doing. And these are my very good friends. This is. And this is, and they both helped me a great deal tonight, taught me some stuff. Alright, I'm Antonio Grisepo, and at the end of every episode of the Martial Arts Odyssey, I tell you, get in the gym, do your sets, do your reps, do your road work, but please, say a prayer for the people of Burma.